Hi and assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to present a research paper submitted to the 10th International Conference on the Computer Science and Computational Mathematics ICCSCM 2021 entitled Assigned Language Communication Through Augmented Reality and Speech Recognition Learn Sign. I'm Siti Nurain Muhammad Rum from University Putra Malaysia. So this is the outline of my presentation. I will start with the introduction followed by the related works methodology, result, and the conclusion. The argumented reality AR is an interactive, real-world experience in which computer-generated cognitive feedback amplifies the real objects. Okay, the recent uh, literature review on the use of the use of AR across disciplines indicates the improvements uh, in communication, motivation, inspiration, commitment, smart learning as well as the increase of individual content memorization. So this shows that uh, this technology has uh, been widely used uh, across discipline. The mobile AR is one of the progressive research areas uh, has been resulted from the extensive development of smartphone and AR features of a style usage uh, with a unique user interface to enhance the computing environment. And the uh, virtual uh, data are assimilated by the mobile AR system into physical environment so that the information can be predicted to imitate the surrounding system without requiring one to be in that physical place. And this is uh, interesting. Uh, the most interesting part of the AR features eh, AR can also be seen as the auxiliary technology uh, because it has the potential to minimize the communication barrier and provide alternative methods to complete a specific task. The three aspects that should be considered when developing the AR system. Okay, the first one, it must be the combination of real and virtual worlds. Secondly, it has to be in the real-time interactivity. And lastly, it has to be registered in the 3D form. There are several uh, technologies can be used to present the augmented uh, scenery such as the HDM, head-mounted display, a holographic display, smart glasses, handheld, and smartphone. There are several works that have been done to support the sign language. Uh, for example, the uh, ARSID was developed by the Noziha uh, and all, uh, aimed to enhance the understanding of the deaf students on the sign subjects. Okay, display the 3D object for microorganism protozoa if markers are scanned. For the magic book, it huh, uh, was developed by the Hiro Zuko, Hiro Kazu uh, at all, uh, that utilized mixed reality to improve the cognitive ability and uh, to allow multiple users to view virtual objects on the augmented reality scenes from their viewpoint. For the sign AR, uh, was developed by the No and Joseph. Uh, it was developed to uh, help the uh, deaf community to learn English through a sign language. And it can also be used by normal people to learn sign language. And uh, it uses the natural feature tracking to identify and track natural features in an image. Okay, the features uh, provided by each system discussed uh, in the previous slide is presented in this table. So it can be compared uh, in terms of the interface use, the ways to display the AR model, uh, natural feature tracking use, support language, supported language, speech to the sign language conversion, uh, the alphabet or the text to sign the language conversion, and the target user. And uh, the most right column in the table is the proposed system, the learn sign, uh, with the, the status features, stated features as shown in the table. It has been reported that the most of a non-disabled person has no knowledge on the sign language, thus making it hard to communicate with disabled person that uses sign language. Therefore, the objective of this research work is to develop a mobile application that enables users to learn the basics of a sign language through an integrated augmented reality features. And most of the existing application did not support the speech to sign language. And the second objective of this research work is to develop a mobile application that provides the speech to the sign language conversion. Okay, the methodology uh, to develop the learn sign uh, can be divided into two main phases. Um, 
the 3D content creation and the AR content creation. So there are two activities in the 3D content creation, namely the 3D model construction and post model creation. So the second phase in the AR uh, content creation uh, consists of the three activities, uh, namely the image target selection, the, the import of a 3D model and the model adjustment. So in the 3D <coughs> content creation phase, uh, the 3D model is constructed using the Blender software. Okay, so this software is an open source tool for the 3D creation suite. Yeah, so it supports the entire process of the 3D development from modeling to rigging, simulation, animation, rendering, uh, motion, composition, and tracking. Okay, so uh, in the AR content creation phase, the Unity software, uh, you, alongside with the Euphoria extension, is used. Uh, to implement the augmented reality features. Figure 3 is the steps for modeling the 3D of a human hand. Okay, since uh, Blender is not an image-based uh, modeling software, uh, therefore the development from scratch, scratch is required. Okay, to create the model, it started by creating the cube and it needs to be shaped uh, step by step as shown in Figure 3 okay, until it becomes the shape of a human hand. Okay, the second activity of this phase is uh, the model post creation. Okay, the Blender software uh, features um, uh, called amateur are used eh, to create the, the pose for the models once the development of human hand 3D model development is completed. Okay, during this activity, uh, the amateur is inserted into a created model. Uh, a blender armature can be said as the identical to the real skeleton armature because an armature can consist of several bones, yeah? much like a, a real skeleton. Okay, by using the armature, the uh, movement of the 3D models can be controlled uh, to the desired gesture uh, or pose uh, of a sign language. Okay, this phase consists of. Uh, Three steps, and the first step is the image target selection. Okay, the file uh, targets reflect the images that can be detected and uh, tracked by the Euphoria engine. Uh, the way the engine detects the images is by comparing the natural features uh, extracted from the image of the camera with the database of known uh, target sources. So, if uh, the image target is established. Uh, Vuforia engine uses tracking technologies to detect the image and uh, augmented, uh, augment the content uh, seamlessly. Okay, uh, a resolution of a 2.25 uh, megabyte or less, uh, and a minimum width of uh, uh, 332 uh, pixels is the minimum requirement of the input image. Okay, the features uh, obtained from the images are kept in a servers that is eventually accessible and packaged with the application. Okay, the Vuforia engine will then use uh, the index for uh, runtime uh, comparison. Okay, figure 6 is the, uh, the flow process of a speech recognition to, of, uh, and the model matching. The process is started um, uh, with the speech recording and followed by the speech analysis. Okay, during the speech analysis, the voice is converted into text. Text then match to the model stored in the database. And the match uh, three model uh, will then be displayed, uh, will then displayed on the user screen. Okay, this is uh, all the technologies used to develop the, the line sign system. And the description of each technology is represented on the slide. Uh, the technologies are the Android, okay, Unity, uh, Visual Studio, Blender, Vuforia Image Target Database, and uh, C Sharp Programming uh, used to program uh, the whole system. Okay, the final look of uh, the Learn Sign uh, system is presented in the slide. Okay, the left side uh, of the feature is the main interface of the Learn Sign system. Okay, to develop the system, the Android device with the Android 4.4 or uh, higher was used. Okay, there are three features provided in the system. The first one is the conversion of the uh, alphabet to the sign language. The second one is the conversion of uh, words uh, to, to the sign language. And the last one is the uh, conversion eh, 
the last one is the speech speech conversion to the sign language so you could users can um, select any scenes that they wanted to okay the models used uh, in the application are developed using the blender software and the software grants um, the ability uh, to construct the 3d hand model alongside with the animation so this is a short videos how the learn sign work there are three features provided in the system the first one is the conversion from the alphabet to the sign language okay uh, given in the videos uh, there are two uh, letters letters a and b and the second is conversion from the words to the sign language uh, given in the example words uh, book and the third one is the conversion from the speech to um, the sign language using the words hello. And now we come to the conclusion. Okay, this research work uh, presents the development of learning sign as a system for learning sign language through a mobile application. Uh, several technologies behind the learn sign, uh, such as a C sharp programming language, Unity software blender, and Euphoria image target database. And the main objective of this research work is to develop a tool that able to reduce uh, the communication barrier between the non-disabled people and the disabled community. And uh, for future development, the system can be improved uh, by adding a real-time sign language detection and increased detection accuracy. And it can be also an interesting and useful application if the created model can be abandoned in any movie player as an optional plugin. To watch any new video or movie that able to translate the text audio and to display uh, to the sign language. Okay, this is uh, all the related references. And with that, thank you.